Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Saturday, October 31st, 2015. Happy Halloween. Uh, I'm going to try and experiment with this. I am recording this on my typical podcatcher, but I am also recording it on my phone as a video. I'm hoping to match up the audio. See just how big of a pain in the ass this is going to be. So, I spent a lot of time yesterday evening on nano prep. I I spent a bit more time familiarizing myself with Scrivener, and they have a character sheet in there and a settings sheet in there and so I've got oh wow construction on Saturday um, I got character sheets filled out for most of my main characters uh, one or two of the side characters there are, are, are going to be a number of characters that are one-time one-time shots because or, or close to it because they're going to be performing multiple murder suicides uh, multiple murders followed by one suicide you can only do it once it's just saying so um, yeah so I got those filled out I actually came with some really good good backgrounds I think on some of these people um, it asks a lot it, it asks questions like you know describe them physically, what are their quirks, what are their hobbies, describe their background a little bit. So I invented a little bit of backstory. Um, I'm trying to be very, I'm trying to be very, um, pick a lane, buddy. I'm trying to be very uh, diverse with this one. Uh, I've got a pretty even mixture of men and women. The uh, protagonist is Hispanic. The antagonist is Indian, as in India. Um, One of the lead detectives is Chinese, of Chinese descent. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to be... Trying to, you know, vary the palette a little bit, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I think I've done as much as I can do in Scrivener to get ready. Now I just need to start writing. And that'll be tonight. I'm going to stay up. I'm, I'm planning on staying up. I couldn't sleep last night. I ended up, went to bed and tossed around for 40 minutes and got up and watched some more videos on Scrivener. And uh, And... You know, uh, you know, did some more prep work and and, and, and figuring out how I'm going to use it, um, and, and and just how things work a little bit, putting in some synopses and a few things. So I've got like um, very basic outlines for my first two chapters, and the rest of it I don't. So I'm I'm really pantsing this one. Which is, you know, I would, you know, if you ask me, I would say that is my typical preferred way of doing these things. Uh, but let's see, I think the one, I think I've had a, I think I've had more of a idea of where I was going for my previous ones. And like for Kilo Rising, I actually had um, a basic outline for the whole stinking thing. Uh, for Gorilla Poet and and um, Stolen Time, I had a pretty good idea of where I was going with that one. Um, now, I do remember for, for Gorilla Poet, I didn't, totally know how things were ending. I, I kind of, I kind of knew how things were ending. I didn't, there was a big gap in the middle. Uh, I wasn't sure where it was going from. So, 
So yeah, I, I you know, this time I, I basically got the starting point. I've got some ideas about a few things in the middle as far as interactions between my characters. But there are vast swaths of uncharted territory. Vast. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little apprehensive. It's been the first time I've done this in three years, I think. I think 2012 was the last one I did. Because I think it's been two years. 2013, 2014, I think. So, uh, yeah, but I think I'm ready to go. I'm excited to get some words down that aren't for some dumbass paper that I'm going to turn in to get a grade and then never look at again. Again. So... Nano prep. That's what's on my mind. I will say I did get the idea yesterday for a quasi-scripted episode to do. That'll probably have to be sometime after Nano. Um, I was I was kind of thinking. I was listening to. Uh, the Voice of Free Planet X by Jared Axelrod. And, um, you know, his tagline is uh, real stories of fictional people. So he, he's got like an interview format he's going on, and it's always with, you know, people that are um, stuck in a time travel. You know, time travelers are stuck in our time. And other things that are pretty interesting. I, I really enjoyed this last one had a night had a really cool twist on it the one he just released and I really like that it was squealing your wheels not high um, so I really enjoyed that quite a bit um, and I'm looking forward to you know he's always refused to do anything like this on Star Wars but he was he was he started a newsletter and the carrot to get people to sign up for the newsletter was that he created a voice of Free Planet X that related to Star Wars or Star Wars characters. Um, which I think he called A Kinder, Gentler Time, if I remember correctly. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet. I got it on the phone, but I haven't listened to it. And it's, so this was like an episode that he said he's never going to put on his main podcast feed. You only get it if you subscribe uh subscribe to the podcast so you know he's like star you know he offers star wars and i'm like I, okay okay so i signed up i got that i'm looking forward to listening to that but i'm heading to home depot i need to get some more things to paint i gotta get this man cave finished i'm not gonna start the novel in it but i would well i should be finishing the novel in it. i love i love to write the majority of the novel in it with a little bit in Starbucks and things of that nature. Anyway, uh, I am at the eight, almost nine minute mark. So wish me luck on marrying this up to the video. I kind of hope it works. I don't know that it makes it any more interesting. You have to look at my face. Sorry. Uh, audio podcast wise, nothing will change. I will still post it as audio. But. Um, But yeah, uh, I should be going. I should be writing. I will be writing tonight. Cannot wait. Anyway, if you're doing NaNoWriMo, good luck. Stick to it. Perseverance is the key, I can tell you, as a four-time winner. Um, if you miss a day, if you don't hit the word count for a day, just keep going. And that's kind of like when, it, when I'm really feeling the story flowing, and, and usually at the beginning when enthusiasm is high, I like to really pound it. I mean, really pound that word count. I'm, um, I've got Monday and Tuesday off, and I'm planning on doing a lot of writing. I'm hoping to be at no less than 10,000 words by the time I go to work on Wednesday, uh, if not more. The more I can get, the better. But that'll be a nice, a nice head start. Um, so, anyway, i got to end this. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, 
be seeing you.